What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ols TV. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Google Play Store on the new Fire 7 tablet. This has just been released, so I'm going to walk you through the whole steps. Um, there's four files you need to install and one setting that you need to turn on. It's pretty easy. You don't have to do any hacking or anything like that. Again, it's really, really easy. Uh, just follow the guide and you should be up and, no, and running with Google Play Store installed because by default, Google Play Store is not installed on here. So first thing you want to do is swipe down from the top, click this little gear. Once you're in this little gear, you want to go down to security and privacy and you want to go down until you see apps from unknown sources. Tap that and you're going to see Silk once this loads up. Tap on that and make sure allowed from this source is turned on. Make sure it's over to the right. Once it is, hit your home button and then you want to open up your Silk browser. And I'm going to put the links for the four files down below in the video. So literally just click on those links from this video with uh, your Fire 7 tablet. And that's pretty much it. And I'll just go through every one. So we'll click on this first one. And finally, if you scroll down again a little bit, download APK, tap on that. And it's going to say file can be harmful. Just hit download anyway. And you're going to see that it's downloaded. Now we can download all four files um, at a time and then do the installation, but I'm going to do them one at a time. So I'm going to tap on this and it's saying, do you want to install this application? I'm going to hit install. It now installed. So I'm going to hit done. I'm going to close this tab because I no longer need it. I'm going to go back and click on the second number, uh, the number two, tap on that, scroll down more and we should see the download APK. Here we go. Download APK. And this is just an ad that popped up for me. So I'm going to close that ad. It's going to bring me back here. I'm going to hit download one more time just so it hopefully will start up. There we go. Cause it put, brought me to the ad page. Here we go. Download anyway. So you might, it's a, this, it, it's not, it's straightforward, but you know, it's somewhat not. So here it is now I'm going to tap on it after I pulled it down, hit install and app install. I'm going to hit done. I'm going to close this tab, go to number three, scroll down again. There we go, download APK. It's a little bit of a bigger file. Download anyway. We can look at the progress. So it's already done, I'm gonna tap on it. It's now staging it. Do I wanna install? I'm gonna hit install. All right, app is now installed. I'm gonna hit done. Close this tab and I'm gonna click on the final file, Google Play Store. All right, download APK. This should automatically start downloading like the rest of them did. Here we go. Download anyway. Perfect. Looks like it's done downloading. I'm going to tap on it. Install. All right. App installed. I'm going to hit done. Now at this point, I probably could open it, but I'm going to completely restart this just to be safe. So press and hold on the power button and choose restart. And we're going to let this restart. Once it's done restarting, we will open up Google Play Store on here. All right, so here we go, guys. I have the Google Play Store installed. Just see right here, I can open it up. I can click on apps and click download something. Um, so maybe I'll go into top charts and I'm like, ooh, what do I want to download? What are they got in here? What games or kids or what do we got in here? So there's all kinds of different things you can download. Editor's Choice. Uh, most of this stuff I think is just, uh, we're in games. Let's go to apps. Let's go to charts. And maybe you're like, you know what? I want uh, the not Amazon Prime Video. Maybe I want uh, TikTok. So just click on here, download TikTok. Let that download. I have I have downloaded some apps already that are in the other store. So I downloaded Wordscapes just to show you from the Google Play Store. I'll open that up. So you might run into that. You see how it closed on me? But if you go back in there a second time, especially on the first time you downloaded it, sometimes it almost seems like a little refresh even though I already restarted my tablet. So just keep that in mind. Hit OK to it, it's kind of just telling you. And things tend to take a little bit longer to open on. This is not a super high powered tablet. It's a inexpensive tablet. So things, again, won't probably run nearly as good as you probably want them to. So, all right. So here we go, I'm gonna spell cat and act. So little bit of, you know, the, the games don't run amazing on here, but, and this isn't even a high powered game, it's just, it just kind of shows you how it, it's a little bit of lag on there. But otherwise, not too bad, it definitely works and you can play 
you know, Google Play Store games. And then to add on to this is that not every app is going to work. And it seems like the ones I'm having issues with are the Google apps. So I open up Gmail and it just says getting messages. And it's been saying that for 10 minutes, five minutes, five, 10 minutes. Uh, maybe it'll finish one day. I have left it open and you could be like, well, if you closed it out, didn't know I have it. Um, so I've been having issues with that. Also, keep notes when I open that up. It says me, tells me to open up Google Play Store uh, services. I've already got it installed. You can see right there. And so, and then same thing. I open, I downloaded Google Maps, and it kind of does nothing. It sits at the screen, and never advances to the next section. And you could stay here all day if you wanted to. So even though the Google Play Store does work and apps within it work, I'll hope you hear TikTok. This should bring us to the login page in a moment. Uh, let's see, it crashes, but then when you open it up a second time, it should open absolutely fine. Let's try one more time on TikTok. Now it looks like TikTok doesn't work, but you saw that uh, uh, Wordscapes works. Let's try Subway Surfer just to see. Game mode, okay. This should work as well. It's going to be the apps that don't need Google services that end up working on this. And like I said, maybe there will be some kind of update through Google Play services that advances these apps to the next section. I mean, this that's literally, I've tried multiple versions of the Google Play services app um, and framework, and I get the same problem. Uh, I'm not 26. I wish I was 26, but I'm not. But... You know, this is getting us to the, to the section of actually being able to play this game. So it's going to be a, a, you'll still have, like for instance, if you're using an email app and, you know, you want Gmail and Gmail doesn't work, try Yahoo Mail. And you, cause you can install, you can get your, your mail through that um, for Gmail and stuff like that. And this game's not running very well. It's just almost like a, a jitteriness to it, but it does work. And this is from the Google Play Store, like I said. So we'll get out of this. So some apps will work. You can, there's always an alternative to something. Um, I've downloaded Firefox on here as well. You can see it's like taking a second uh, to get things going. But I do have Firefox installed. I installed that from the Google Play Store. So just, you know, if there's an app on there, check to see if you can find the app on there and uh, see if it works. So have a great day, and we'll see you down the road. Peace.